year five. <laughs> year five. So we thought you've been off for Easter, so you're about ready for another fitness video. I'm sure you're all tired of Joe Wicks, and I'm certainly sick of his lunges. I'm sure he's stolen some of my ideas. But anyway, so we thought <laughs> we would do a little warm-up game that you could get your family involved in to start off today. So this is a game that I'm sure you'll have all played. You can play at all sorts of different levels with little ones. So we're going to play the pirate game. Angelina, can you remember the pirate game? So we're all going to be on a pirate ship. And we're going to be jogging on the spot or running around the room. Can we jog and can we run around the room? And then Mummy's going to shout, Captain's coming! <gasps> what forgot to do? And what do we say? Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Brilliant. And then we can run around the room. You can get your family going around the room again. And then I might say, <gasps> scrub the decks. What do we do? Scrub the decks. Tell everybody. Scrub the decks. Scrub the decks. Go, go. And then we're going to run around again. Ooh, run around again. And then we're going to do climb the rigging. Oh, high knees, hands in the air. Oh, that's it. I'm going to kick along. Let's climb the rigging. And then we can run around again. And we could do man overboard. Now, depending on who's in the room, what you can do, man overboard, you could. Ooh, you little one, if you can. If you could, you could always do a piggyback. Man overboard, can you get on my back? Man overboard. On your back. Or. If you're playing on your own, your mum and dad don't want to pick you up, you could just do man overboard and do a really big jump. <gasps> Boom! Can you do one? Man overboard! <gasps> wow! Okay, so we're going to jump around again. I'm going to show you the last one. So the last one is shark attack. Now, depending on where you're playing, what you're allowed to do for shark attack. If you must have cushions on the floor that you've got to stand on, or you've got to get onto the sofa. So you run around the room and I'll say, shark attack, Woo! off the floor, and there you go. That's the pirate game. So you can have lots of fun with that at home, and it's a great warm-up game to get your heart rate moving. So we're now going to move on to our exercises. So the first exercise is burpees. But to start it off, you can do the easy version. Well, I actually don't think it's easy. Come on, get ups. In the morning, when you don't want to get out of bed, we lie on the floor. But for this, we have got to get up and jump as fast as we can. Can you do that, Angelina? So lie on the floor, get up and jump as fast as you can. Lie on the floor and then get up and jump. And if you want to turn it into a burpee, burpees, you can either jump out, jump in, Jump up to make them harder. You can lie on the floor, jump in, jump up. Or you can lie on the floor, jump in, jump up, and tuck. And what I thought this time, rather than doing handy can do in a minute, which you can do if you want to, you can always count your times tables. So say, for example, you want to do the sevens. So you can just do 12 repetitions in your seven times table. So See how far I get. So you can have like seven. Up. You can have what comes next? Two sevens. Fourteen. Down again. Three sevens up you come. Twenty-one. And so on. So you can see how far can you get? Can you get past twelve sevens? So that's the first activity. You're already finished off. Right, activity number two. This is going to be with the ball. Teddy's just picked it up. So this one, all sorts of different levels. So with the ball, what you can do is practice passing the ball, smaller balls are harder, around your body. And again, you're counting your seven times tables or eights, whichever you find more tricky. You could then start to make it harder by doing a figure eight. And you could do seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 
you could then make it harder. I'm not sure I can do it with a small ball. If you put it between your leg and then you throw it and you catch it like that. Try again. Catch it like that. See how many of those you can do, okay? So that's our ball activity this week. Third activity is going to be, we're gonna do some squats. Angelina was really good doing those with Joe Wicks. So you're gonna get down as low as you can, sort of trying to be at a right angle. And you can do your squats. Can you do squats with me, Angelina? I did it. <laughs> and if you're quite good at those, then you can turn them into squat jumps, okay? And again, if you want to do times tables, you could step it up and you could multiply by a multiple of 10. So you could do your 70 times tables. So we could go 70, 140, 210, 280, 350, 420, and keep going. As many as you can do. I, I will eventually get past the six times. I did it too. Um, you did it too. Right. So the final activity is a little bit of work on the arms to keep our arms moving. So depends what you've got at home. You may have weights. If you don't have weights, for little people, we've got some jellies. Teddy, do you want a jelly? Or not? I That's fine. I I've also want, got... I want a jelly. Well, I was going to give you two tins. It's going to be a bit heavier and you're a bit bigger. So that one and that one. Or you can have all three. And I've got oh, tins of beans. Now, you think these aren't that heavy, so they're not so good for doing bicep curls. So, no, we're going, to, we're going to use them to do some work on our arms. So, we're going to hold them out, hold our arms, and we're just going to pulse. And this is where you can probably do a lot more times tables. So we're going to start with, oh, you can have some jelly after lunch. We've got to finish year five's exercises first. Could you put your arms out and have a try? So you could count backwards in your times tables, keeping your arms out. So I'm going to start at 84. And I'm going to go back in the sevens. So 84. 77, 70, 63, 56, 49, 42, 35, 28, 21, 14, 7, 0. And you know what? It's not too bad yet, so I reckon you should try and do another times tables while you're doing this one. So let's go up in our 8. Maybe let's do in multiples of 10, so we'll start at 80. 160, 240, 320, 400, 480, 560, 640, 720, 800, 880, 960. Can you go even further? 960. Is that 1,040? Can you go even further? How far can you go in numbers? And how far can your arms go? If you've done that one, you can always have a go do the same with your arms out. And the idea is not to let your arms drop. You should start to feel on your arms. So we've done our warm-up pirate game. We've done our get-ups to get us moving. We've done our ball skills, balls with the legs. We have done our squats to work on our legs as well. And we have done working with that tins of beans that we're not eating just yet um, to work on our arms. I hope uh, that gives you something else to do this week on top of all the other things that you're doing and um, we shall be back very soon. Bye! Angelina, Ted, do you want to say bye? Bye! Bye! bye. <laughs>